Okay. Hello? Alright. So this is a quick video on my uh on how my how I play World of Warcraft with my unusual keybinds. Let's start off with this. If you look at here, down here, you'll notice that um W is bound, A is bound, S and D is bound. Normally those are your movement buttons. W A S D, right? Or Q W Q E if you strafe on those, but I think most people strafe on A D. Right, you'll notice that those are bound. And as you can see, when I press my 7 and 9 key, I strafe left and right. And if I move 5 and 8, that's forward and back. I basically have shifted WASD onto my, onto my buttons here. Another thing is, uh, how I turn my character is basically just hold right click. If I need to turn right, I turn right, left. It's, I think it's pretty, it's almost the same as most people if they have WASD. This is how I currently play, right? I think most people wouldn't have too many issues with that currently. Uh, probably not. That people might find it a bit weird, but I prefer this currently. This is my currently preferred method of movement. But I think what people were wigging out on, especially when I mentioned this last time in one of my streams, is this. Hello, welcome my Logitech G402. Right, I'm gonna move this over here. You'll notice there is not that many buttons, right? There is mouse four and a mouse five. I haven't installed the drivers for this because this is a new computer and I don't use this mouse so much anymore. But you'll notice that I can only move forward and back with this, right? So you might be asking, all right, how do you turn? Simple, you hold right, you hold right click and turn your character. The fact that this is stunning me is making it a little bit annoying. So I'll just move here. All right, and then you'll be like, okay, how do you move to mechanics? You know, that's kind of a waste of effort. Cool, this is where the genius comes in, All right? This is where the big, okay, you, okay, I shouldn't point at my head, but the big brain plays come. If there's a mechanic, let's say over here, so like Croesus is, um, if you guys remember from Nighthold, Croesus is uh, circles that you need to stand on. Here's what you do. Oh fuck, here you go. I can stand on the mechanic. Oh, there's another one there, I'll help out. Oh shit, there we go. You notice how I would immediately kind of hold forward or back in the direction I need to go, hold, hold down right click, and jump. This is the genius. It works better on higher sense, a higher DPI, but I am too lazy to set this up again. But yeah, this is kind of how it works. But yeah, forward and back, you know, this is kind of, kind of all you can do. Uh, can you PvP with this? Probably, not ideal, but... It works well enough for PvE that it doesn't really matter. Right, so... Oh shit, there's a mechanic over there. There's a guard, I'll switch. No, I'll jump over. Imagine if I had to hit that guard. An even better example, here. Fighting this training dummy, hit, hit. Oh, that training dummy needs to get hit. Bam, switch. You see that? There's just... It's just one jump. I'm pretty sure it's faster than this. So one, two, three. Yeah, alright. And then... Look, if I need to hit the guard on the right, right? I'll switch over to here. Boom! Oh wait, I, I turned the wrong way because I was too busy looking at OPS. Alright, right, try that again. One, two... There we go. See, I'm already on this. You save like a whole second. See, just jumping from left and right. I really think this is the big brain strap, to be honest. But yeah, that is my little demonstration using my Logitech G402 on why this is the superior movement. If anyone says otherwise, you're, you're dumb. I'm joking. Bye-bye.